Yumbar. I'll explain here the outline for the engine information. First of all, I'll explain the main points. There are two types in the rated speed, 720 RPM and 900 RPM. We call accordingly 6EY22L and 6EY22AL. Both of them have six cylinders and bore stroke of 220 times 320 millimeters. Other main items are as you see or seen. The rotation direction of crankshaft is counterclockwise, viewed from flywheel side. Cylinder is aligned in numerical order, number one cylinder, number two cylinder, viewed from flywheel side. The ignition order is how you are watching on the video. The operation side of the engine is the left side, viewed from the flywheel side. Viewed from this operation side, the governor, fuel pressure regulating valve, fuel strainer, turbocharger, air cooler, cooling water pump, lube oil pump, and cooling water thermostatic valve are laid out as shown here. When viewed from the anti-operation side, the anti-flywheel side, the air motor, automatic back washing strainer of lube oil, lube oil cooler, lube oil thermostatic valve, and lube oil pump, etc., are laid out as shown here. Familiarize yourself with the location of each device to handle them promptly when conducting maintenance. We have proper clothing. Don't wear oiled clothing because it is ignitable. Depending on the type of work, wear the protective equipment, such as helmet, glasses, masks, gloves, safety belts, shoes and foot protectors. Conduct the work by observing the basic notes for safety, cautions in maintenance and work procedure specified in the instructions and in the engine safety label. It's important to check the engine before the start and after the stop and conduct the related works in the order to keep it in good condition. I will explain part of the work. The first thing is explanation for the preparation before the start. Please bear in mind that you make careful preparation for the checking, particularly after overhaul of the engine or in restarting the engine after the stop over a long period. While turning with the lube oil priming pump in operation and with the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders open, confirm that lube oil is dripping from the valve rocker arm shaft, piston pin, crank pin, main bearing, and swing arm. Then conduct air bleeding for lube oil strainer, fuel oil strainer, fuel pump, and so on. Further, lubricate by hand to the governor linkage and the control device and check that they are working smoothly.
while moving the start-stop lever back and forth. From the run to the stop position, confirm that the fuel injection pump rack, the first lever shaft of the governor linkage, and the connecting rod are working smoothly. Check if the indicator needle of the governor control shaft indicates the graduation between 1 to 2. Also confirm that no part or tool has been left in the crankcase before restarting the engine after an overhaul. Check all bolts for tightness. If the valve mechanism was disassembled, use a feeler gauge to confirm the clearance between the suction and the exhaust valve heads. If fuel oil, cooling water, lube oil, and others are pooled in the cylinder, it may lead to troubles such as water hammer or oil hammer, and it is dangerous. Therefore, conduct air running to prevent abnormalities. After turning is complete, return the turning gear to the detached position. Insert the stopper into the groove and fasten the bolt. Set the engine remote operating selector switch to the engine position. Set the start stop lever to the stop position and open the pressure indicator cocks on all cylinders. Press start switch for a few seconds to conduct air running. After finishing air running, close the pressure indicator cocks of all cylinders. Set the start stop lever to the run position and prepare for the start. Now I will explain the procedure for stopping the engine during the ordinary run. Block the load, run the engine for about 10 minutes with no load, and then stop it. However, for the engine specified for start-stop with MDO, see to it that the HFO is never left in the piping when the engine is stopped after the fuel is changed from HFO to MDO. Set the start-stop lever to the stop position. Open the pressure indicator cock and discharge the gas from the combustion chamber by conducting the air running in the same procedure as taken before starting the engine. Open and close the valves of each system beforehand according to the conditions for the stop. For the prevention of accidents, however, do not open the side cover of the crankcase for 10 minutes after stopping the engine. In this chapter, I will first explain part of a daily maintenance check and adjustment procedures for fuel oil system. While the engine is running,